what's good, what's good, man? Let's get into it. Uh, let's talk about CD Lamb, man. CD, bro, as a, as an Oklahoma fan, bro, please leave the Cowboys. Please get out of Dallas. Dallas ain't for you. Dallas is not going anywhere. Dallas is a dead end franchise. They're a dead end team. They're not doing anything. And CD, please, please leave the Cowboys. Listen, CD, I'm not mad at you trying to get your money. I'm really not, man. You got to, you know, you, you got to get your money. I get that. I understand that. You got a family. You know, this is your first big contract. You're uh, probably a top five receiver in the NFL looking at it. But at the same time, bro, get out of Dallas, bro. Please get out of Dallas, bro. I'm so sick and tired of hearing about this CD Lamb stuff. It is beyond annoying. It's really annoying. CD Lamb is one of the best receivers in the league. Why is he not paid yet? Why? So let me get this straight, uh, Jerry. CD is one of the best players on your team. Besides maybe, you know, I can't even think of anybody. Mika's overrated. Uh, Trayvon, Trayvon, you paid Trayvon Diggs last year who tore his ACL, but you won't pay CD. CD is one of the best receivers in the league right now. He's one of the best skill position, uh, skill position players. One of the best players in the NFL right now. Why has he not gotten his money for what? In what world does this make sense? Now, granted, as I'm sitting here recording this video, is CD going to get his money? Most likely. Most likely, but this is beyond this. Whether when I post this video, whether CD gets paid or not, CD leave the Cowboys. The Cowboys are a dumpster fire. They're not going anywhere. The Cowboys are beyond horrible. I don't care how they look on paper. I don't care what Dak Prescott's number looks like. I don't care. The Cowboys. They're a dumpster fire, bro. I'm, I'm gonna say it before I'm gonna say it again. First of all, Mike McCarthy is a clown. He's an idiot. You know, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's not forget that he's gotten carried by Aaron Rodgers because I'm going to keep it real. What is Mike McCarthy done without Aaron Rodgers? What, go to the playoffs a few times with Dak? Has one playoff win with Dak beating a washed-up Tom Brady? Okay, bro, that's real impressive, bro. How many how many times have you lost to the 49ers? You lost to Jordan Love in his rookie year. At home, by the way, too. Let me not forget that. At home, by the way, too. And also, before he got injured, you were like 4-1. With the same Cowboys team back in 2020 before Dak Prescott got, got injured. So they're not going anywhere with there. And he's only there because Jerry Jones likes to control his coaches and he likes to suck up coaches. You know what I'm saying? Uh and Dak Prescott, y'all yeah, already know how what I think of Dak. Dak ain't the guy. He's not it. You know what I'm saying? Good quarterback. You know, I like Dak off the off the field. He seems like a good guy. God bless him. But Dak is not a good he's He's not going to get you anywhere. He's just a black mobile Kirk, Kirk Cousins. That's all he is. Maybe slightly better because he can get you to the playoffs on a consistent basis. But let's be for real. Dak Prescott's not even reliable to get you out the first round. Besides the years that they had the first seed, how many times have the Cowboys got out the first round? They beat Seattle in Seattle once, and then they beat the Bucs. So, but they beat Seattle in like 2018, and it took them, what, five, six years to beat, to go to the second round again. This guy hasn't even sniffed the conference championship. He hasn't even sniffed it. Jared Goff, Jalen Hurts, uh, I don't even know who else. Mahomes, Allen, Lamar, uh, who, who else can I think of? Joe Burrow. I'm still trying to think of names off the top of my head. Like, all these guys that I just named have been, with the exception of maybe Jared Goff. No, the Jared, Jared Goff was in the same class. Okay, with the exception of Jared Goff. Hell, you can even throw Carson Wentz in there. All these guys have been to the conference championship but Dak Prescott. And all these guys, with the exception of Jared Goff and uh, Carson Wentz, have been in the league less time than Dak Prescott. Why, is he st why are we taking this guy seriously? For what? What, what? what are we taking this guy seriously for? Like, and I said all that to say to CD, don't waste your talent, bro. I get you trying to get your money. I'm trying, I get you trying to get your bag, but you can get your bag somewhere else, bro. You can go get your bag somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, a team, like, listen, all you contending teams, pony up the money to give to CD, to CD Lamb. 
If you're a contending Super Bowl team, pony up the money to get C.D. Lamb. Do something. Don't let C.D. Lamb rot in Dallas. Well, all these fat Dallas fans talk about, oh, this is our year. This is our year. And by the way, newsflash, Cowboys fans, if there are any Cowboys fans in my comments section or come across this video, this is not your year. You're going out in the first round again, maybe even the second round. <laughs> it's going to be the same thing over and over and over and over again. And that preview of Dak, trust me, Dak's going to get a whole video to himself of me taking a dump on him too. But at the same time, CD, bro, leave the Cowboys. Forget their money. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. What is this? CD Lamb's, what, third, fourth year? Play out the rest of your contract. They're not going to friend. They're going to franchise you. I'm going to keep it real. When's the last time a receiver got franchise tagged? Besides T. Higgins, when's the last time a receiver got franchise tagged? T. Higgins got franchise tagged this year. Besides that, franchise tag usually goes to the uh, running backs and the quarterbacks. They don't franchise tag wide receivers, especially in this wide receiver happy era where they can find somebody in the draft. Nah. CD, get out of Dallas, leave, exit, you know what I'm saying, exit uh, exit stage B, like, it. forget Dallas. It's a, it's a sinking ship. Because after this whole Dak Prescott experiment is uh, gone, who are you going to have? Who, who are you going to have? I mean, me personally, I think they should take your door, but it's most likely not going to happen that they're going to take your door. Who are you going to have at quarterback? Do you really want to risk another bag having down seasons just because your quarterback is beyond horrible? But that's my thoughts. What are yours? RJ out.